Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a video not only on the brand new Conceal and Define Infinite Concealer but I'm going to be comparing the brand new Infinite Concealer to the old original Conceal and Define Concealer. So before this video does start, let's see if you guys can figure out what concealer I have on which side of my face. Now, do I have the Infinite one on my left side? Do I have the original on my left side? Do I have the infinite on my right side? What do you guys think? I'm actually so glad that I did this video and compared the different concealers because the original Conceal and Define I was already in love with. The infinite concealer, even more so. So the original concealer is the Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer and Contour. The new concealer is the Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite. Now, this concealer is labelled as long wear, 16 hour wear, crease proof and 20% more coverage than the original. Now if you have tried the original then you'll know that the original concealer had and was and is <laughs> got amazing coverage anyway. So comparing it to the brand new Infinite concealer I just want you guys to watch and see the difference between the two. So now let's get into this video and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Okay, so I'm just going to go straight in and prep my skin. I'm going in with the Revolution Hydrate and Prime Primer. Now I feel like this primer is quite runny itself. It's very like, it's a very thin liquid. So a little bit does go a long way. I am also just going to use some of this primer on top as well. This is the Revolution Pro Goddess Glow Primer. Now this primer has quite a shimmer to it, so um, once you apply foundation, it does look quite nice and glowy on. Okay, so I haven't actually used this foundation before, so it's my first time trying it. I don't know if I've got the right shade or not, I got 12.5, F12.5. I've tried the Revolution Pro foundation, the full coverage one, and in that I'm sure I got F10 and F12, and I'm sure I used the F12, so this is like half a shade darker than what I'm used to using, so hopefully it's okay, and hopefully it's not too dark. But okay. <laughs> this is possibly too dark. We won't say no just yet. I think the shade itself is actually okay. I think it's more the undertone that's not matching me. Okay, so to blend that out slightly, I have just gone in with the Revolution Pro Full Cover Camouflage Foundation in F12. I feel like the F12.5 in the Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation was slightly off for me. It's more the um, undertone rather than the actual foundation itself. It was more the undertone of the foundation so I have just went in on top with the camouflage in F12. Okay so I'm now going to go in with the concealer. On my left side I am going to use the older Revolution Conceal and Define and on my right side I am going to use the Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite. We're going to put to the test the differences in the two concealers. So I'm going in with the shades C8 in both concealers. So this one is the Conceal and Define, the original one, on my left side. And now on my right side... I don't know if you guys can see that there, but already I feel like the Conceal and Define Infinite definitely has a lot more pigment. Here you can see there's a lot more blotches rather than just a full concealer. You can kind of see underneath slightly, whereas this one there's a lot less of that, so it's more just at the edges where I've like um, peeled it out. I'm going to go ahead and blend this. So let's go in with the original Conceal and Define side first. Okay, so I've blended out the Conceal and Define side first. Now, pretty good coverage. I feel like it has covered my bags pretty well. I feel like that side looks pretty good. Now let's go in with the Conceal and Define Infinite and see what coverage we're getting on that side. Okay. 
Okay. I am extremely happy with that. Look, compared to my left side, right, let me just check this now. Compared to my left side, I can, I mean it's covering my bags, yes. I can still kind of see a crease of my bags. Whereas the right side, I feel like it has completely just smoothed it out. It has definitely, definitely given more coverage on the right side compared to the left. Okay, I'm just gonna go away and contour and powder my face. Um, and then I'm gonna come back and see how it looks after I have powdered. Okay guys, so I've just completed the final look. I will list the products that I use to complete the final look in the description below. Now, comparing these two concealers, when the original one came out, I thought that was absolutely amazing. I absolutely love that concealer. Now, the new Infinite concealer that has just come out, I would agree that this one definitely has a lot more coverage than the original. It does say 20% more coverage than the original, so I would I would agree with that. I feel like that the coverage on my right side compared to the left side is a lot more. I am going to come closer and show you guys as well. It does state that this is crease proof. Now, your eyes in general do crease, so I've, I don't really see any way around that. I can see some creases underneath both eyes, but like I say, that is literally just my eyes. I mean, they're not major massive creases, so it's nothing that would really affect me or I'd be annoyed about. Like, your natural eye just has creases, there's nothing that you can really do, there's no way around that. I'm going to come closer now and show you guys what it looks like close. So either way, both concealers are amazing. Both concealer, concealers have extremely good coverage. The new Infinite Concealer, I definitely agree with it having more coverage. So if you do want to go for something that gives you a little bit more coverage, then this would definitely be the one that I would go for. Like I say, the original itself as well does have beautiful coverage. Like on my left side, it's not like you can see anything. Um, just like my right side as well though, like I feel like it's a lot more smoother. You can literally barely see nothing at all. Whereas the left side, I do think that just there slightly, you can see still a tiny little bit of the bags under my eyes. This side, I feel that you can see absolutely nothing. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, let me know what you thought in the comment section below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.